Hello and welcome to Susan Says, the show where we let my pet tortoise Susan, this lady here, call the shots. Every episode, Susan will choose between two dares that we've set up for a member of the Hex Jam team. Let's go. This episode, it's my turn. If Susan walks towards this lovely plate of mixed salad, I have to spend the entire day at work walking like a crab. If she chooses these dandelion leaves, I have to go to a park covered in bread and wait for the pigeons to arrive. Chosen! Susan has chosen the walking like a crab for the entire day at the office. Gonna be fun. Morning. Morning, well. How are you doing? I am incredibly glad the challenge uh, Susan chose for me was walking like a crab because if I had covered myself in bread and waited for pigeons to attack me, I would have been covered in disease, I would have been covered in pigeon excrement, um, two things I, I try to avoid on a daily basis. The biggest challenge of the day was making tea while walking like a crab. I don't know how crabs do it to be honest and, and fair play to them because you've, you've got to hold the tea l like, like a crab would and that makes for a very uncomfortable kind of burning sensation and the physical toll it took on my body was remarkable. Um, I felt like I'd had a day at the gym. So again, fair play to the crabs and I don't think they get enough respect because they put in a hell of a lot of work, just just going about their everyday lives, and I respect them for that. My colleagues took it remarkably well. They were indifferent to it, I would say. They barely even noticed. They barely even raised an eyebrow. And why would they? You know, it's just it's just another day in the office. The public were more startled, and I don't blame them. If I saw a man walking down uh, the middle of Kentish Town as a crab, I'd have questions. I'd I'd wonder, you know, who is this man? and can we find somewhere safe for him to live immediately harder because he's clearly going through a great deal of stress um, something's gone wrong in his development um, and my colleagues thought none of that and they took it in their stride which which i'm very uh, very proud of them for Hi. i feel much more spiritually connected to crabs now. You're walking in the most challenging way and I respect the commitment they display every day to their way of life and I would challenge anyone who discriminates against crabs because of the way they, they choose to live their lives and I feel as though I am perhaps now 5% if not 10% crab after my experience and I think that's a good thing and I think everyone should have a bit more crab in their life and I look forward to hearing from the crabs about how they interpreted my, uh, my movements. <laughs>